Um, at this time, I'd like to call Kate Brusa from the Economic Pro Progress Institute. Good evening, Kate. Good Welcome. evening. Thank you, Chairman and members of the committee. Um, I'll be brief. I'm Kate Brewster from the Economic Progress Institute. And I just want to say that I appreciate Representative Ruggiero and Representative Craven's concerns. I had a chance to talk to Representative Ruggiero yesterday. Um, I just want to make a couple of quick points. First, um, with respect to the study that the Office of Revenue Analysis did, I just want to point out that they did find that between 2007 and 2011, they looked at taxpayers in Rhode Island who earned over $200,000 a year. 85% of them were still here um, when, they, when they concluded that study. So I think that sends an important message that people aren't fleeing at the rate that we think. I also just wanted to mention that the estate tax is one of the most uh, progressive taxes in what is otherwise a regressive state and local tax structure. It serves as an important backstop to the capital gains tax for assets that have not been realized upon a person's death. Um, and our biggest concern really deals with the money that would be lost. Um, you heard the revenue estimates and the fact that just a handful of Rhode Island heirs really would benefit from this. Um, my understanding is Rep. Ruggiero said there were about 208 estates that paid the estate tax um, last year. And I understand that about half of those were um, Rhode Island residents. The other half were non-residents. So it's a pretty big price tag for a small number of people. Um, I just do want to be on the record as saying that if we do or you do consider this change, that you would also consider making an equal investment in the state's earned income tax credit for the 73,000 low wage workers in our state who um, would benefit from such a change. We think that would be uh, fair. Rhode Island is now one of the top 10 states with the largest taxes on the poor. Um, so we think that that would be uh, something worth considering, certainly if this were um, on the table. So I just want to thank you for the opportunity to uh, provide a few comments. Thank you, Kate. Are there any questions of Kate? Thank you for your testimony. We appreciate it. Okay, that will conclude the hearings on 7064 and 7140.